Hello there, in this video I'm going to teach you how to use Midjourney to help you illustrate a children's storybook or just a random children's book. First of all, you are going to need the Midjourney account, so sign up for that. After you're done signing up for the paid trial, just head over to your direct messages or to the Midjourney server. In the Midjourney server, you have an option to just go to one of the newcomer rooms and generate results for yourself. But this is not the best option as there are people constantly generating their own prompts over here. So we're just going to head over to our own server with the bot. Your first step is to type slash imagine. After that, in your prompt, you're going to describe what you want to write. For example, I'm going to use this. It's a prompt of a five-year-old brown African boy with curly hair and very big round glasses, woolly earmuffs for the cold, and we're adding the Pixar style. You can add the 8K part, but it's not really necessary if you're generating images in the Pixar style. But we're going to optimize this prompt a bit more. So first, we're just going to generate with this prompt to see what it generates for us. It's done generating, and you can see that the results are not consistent and are different each time. So what you can do for that is change up your prompt by adding a name to your character. That usually helps with creating consistent results. So just type slash imagine again. And in the subject part of our base prompt, we're just going to give a space and type named and come up with a random name for it. After that, you can also hit generate with this prompt or you can edit it up a little more by going in the end of the prompt and typing dash dash v4 and also typing dash dash ar 16 ratio 9 or 2 ratio 3 which is the most common one for children books. What the dash dash ar 2 ratio 3 does is that it defines an aspect ratio for the Midjourney bot to create your images in. You can write any value here, but we're going to use 2 ratio 3 for this. So just hit generate and see your results. We're also going to be repeating this command one more time. You can see that our results are done generating and over here the character is pretty similar throughout our generations. To make it a little better you can upscale and save any of these images that you like or that represents your character the best. For example v3 and then you can use that as a base image for your character. For example you can use it as a reference and use it to train Midjourney into generating images like this. For that, hit the copy image address button. Go into slash imagine again. Paste it here, but give a space and after that paste your prompt. Wait for it to create your results. It generated our, our results again and you can see they're all similar to the first one. I'm going to show you how you can use this prompt to actually generate your children's book by generating a scene from a random book. For example, you want your character to be listening to a bedtime story. by their mother.
after adding in your detail to hit generate and wait for it to create your result over here it generated us some decent results although the third one is a little weird as the eyes are completely blank and it looks more like a horror story but you can obviously advance your prompts and generate longer and more complex ones to define the scenes a little better but that's your choice keep in mind though that creating prompts takes a long time and you will need patience to generate some good images that sums up the video thank you for watching and goodbye